doing today is we're doing some oil changing. It is hotter than Hades out here and we are going to be uh, changing the oil on the skid loader, <coughs> which will be part one. And uh, then we'll be changing the oil on uh, the grasshopper and the tractor, which I'll probably separate in its different videos. But today, we're on this John Deere 250 skid steer. I have never done the hydraulics on this, so this will be interesting. But we will uh, we'll get it cleaned up and hopefully get this taken care of. I actually replaced a hydraulic fitting on the grapple that I purchased a few years ago. And I'm going to see if that works while I got this bale stabber. I'm going to be taking it off. I'm going to try and hook it up to the grapple and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't leak because ever since I've had it and got the fittings for it, it's leaked. So it's kind of been a pain in the butt. Don't like to use the grapple because it hasn't really worked. You did get to see me repair the grapple, but uh, I haven't used it since. So I end up redoing this fitting right here, this fitting going into that coupler. For some reason, that coupler does not like to uh, fit to that fitting, so it leaks out hydraulic fluid. But um, We're going to hook this thing up and see if it's still leaking or not and go from there. from Napa I think they all fit I'm gonna double check sizes and everything before I actually take them off of the skid loader and put them back on, or put the Napa filters on but I know for sure we got I believe that's the fuel filter right there uh, let's get these covers off and we can I'm gonna take the door off Take that off because it is uh, broken. I need to fix it while I'm doing all this stuff. Take the side covers off and we'll reevaluate here. You want to know right here, there is a pin that you unbolt. Door just comes off then. Like that. Thing, all the covers taken off. We put the cab up. <coughs> uh, we have our fuel filter right there, a cart right there, our hydraulic filter right in here, the oil filter, I don't remember where it's at, it's in here somewhere. It's been a while since I've replaced this, so or done any maintenance on this, so it's a good thing we're doing it, it needs to be done. Let's get the oil pan or the drain pan pulled off underneath and we will start working on the oil change because the other two filters are right up there and then we'll uh, once we get the oil done then we'll move on to the hydraulic because that's going to be six gallons of hydraulic fluid I think and then the fuel filter which should be the easiest but again, I'll compare my filters before I go tearing into anything. So I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to start into this and find out I don't even have the right filters. But we'll go ahead and uh, get this plate undone down below and go from there. This is a size 15 socket to get this plate off. This is going to crash. Not as bad as I figured. Oh, great. Looks like I got another broken motor mount bolt I got to fix. All in all, I mean, there's hardly any oil or grease, so that's good. I'm actually thinking that the majority of what's wet is I dumped some diesel fuel yesterday down into here, so I'm guessing that's what that was from. Got my hose here to 
think that's for hydraulic fluid. And that's oil, I believe. If I remember right. We'll figure that out here in a little bit, but let's drag this pan out. avoided so I uh, pulled the filter off you can see that is a five one two four three I have a seven four zero four a one two four three eleven forty seven three five four eight three zero four six and a six six seven one I do not have a five one two four three but I thought ahead evidently years ago I don't even remember when I bought this but I had it thank you past me and uh yeah got the filter off so the filter is right in here um one uh helpful piece of advice if you don't have the right kind of pliers take these two hydraulic hoses off makes it a little easier so you can uh so you can get to it i had pliers spin up the filter a little bit okay there is so it looks like do a little rubbing on that. Looks like I changed it. It was summertime when I changed it last, but 2018 sounds about right. Whoa! We'll uh, start draining that oil. And I think that I have, I think that I have a big enough container for it. I don't know, it's been a while since I've done this, so bear with me. I don't know if this is showing up, but I'm sweating to death pretty bad. Icky. But let's go ahead and get that oil drained. Make sure when you're doing this, always put a layer of oil on there before you stick it back in. This filter goes in, <clears throat> yeah, upside down. So you can't put oil inside the filter. Hand tight, it's good. It's got a convenient drain hose. Looks like the hydraulic fluid connector is right about in the same spot. That's supposed to hold like six gallons. All right, we're gonna go ahead and throw the cap back on here. Tighten her up and tuck her back in. Drain plugs right here, oil hose right here. I shoved that back up in, but now we're on to the hydraulic. We'll start draining this. Oh, there it goes. Well, I'm sure this is a terrible idea, but I'm just gonna try and keep an eye on it so when it starts filling up, I'll put this back in and I don't know. This could only go swimmingly. Fluid looks good though. I'm going to go dump this, come back, and I'll keep draining. Go for round two. Well, it seems like it's about out. Took uh, took this hose off. I put a towel in put a towel into the bottom port so dust didn't fall into it this is open so now I have access to the hydraulic fluid filter so I'm gonna try and remove that carefully I might have to get a wrench Daughter. Didn't spill a drop of it. For those, of the John Deere part number is KV12276. So I'll uh, set this down so I can get the pan. Looks like the pan's about done draining. 
and I'll uh, dump this in there and we'll compare the filters make sure the filters are right and uh, put the other one back on we got our Napa filter filter number 7404 I've filled it up with hydraulic fluid and I've taken hydraulic oil and I've lubed up the top we're gonna stick her back in and rear drain plug on the hydraulic system so make sure you drain the front and rear drain I still need to drain the front one I'll do that really quick and then uh, then we'll get to start filling this I need to change out the fuel filter and the other small fuel filter that I got got this deal right here and I got the fuel filter right here I believe looks like the right one but yeah I'm going I'm going to drain the front drain now on the hydraulic system and then I'll be back with you the tank is elongated so you need to drain the front one and the rear one I found this out because I uh, my uncle still had the service manual for this so I was able to look that up just letting you know service manuals are great So, end up kind of get a little heat struck the other day with uh, trying to get that drain plug out. Uh, I called my dad over. He helped me get it done. Uh, we ended up getting the hydraulic fluid changed out. You saw that we did the oil filter, the hydraulic filter, and then dad came over and helped get the get this filled up. So the spec manual says that this is six gallons. It holds six gallons hydraulic fluid. I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna, even if you drain out where it tells you to drain out, it, I would say maybe it was four, I'm gonna guess four gallons, maybe even less than that from what I got drained out. Um, Cause we ended up trying to put the whole five gallon bucket in there and it overflowed and we had a mess. But uh, now we got that filled up. So spec says six gallons. I'd say put a gallon in at a time and check it just to be sure. So then we ended up putting oil in. With the oil, it was uh, eight quarts. So two Rotella 15W40, that's what we put in it. Uh, the hydraulic fluid we put in so we put in Harvest King Trans Hydraulic Oil Premium, says it's for John Deere. Then Shell Rotella 15W40. And while we got that stuff done, I went ahead and replaced the fuel filter. Got this thing replaced, got it marked, just so we make sure that we know when uh, we change it last. There's another fuel filter in line back there off of the fuel tank, but I'm not gonna be changing that. But we got it all bled up. I replaced the air filter. And I think that's about it. So this was just a quick fluid change. Um, the only thing we didn't do is the radiator. But um, everything seems to be doing all right with that. But other than that, I uh, ended up having to replace a... We ended up having to replace a motor mount bolt. Their motor mounts... The motor mounts I've had to replace on this like three or four times. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, just randomly go to check stuff out or change the oil and find a motor mount's broken. And it's always the bottom one. There's two motor mounts. There's one that just bolts in, then there's one that holds a nut and a bolt. If you guys have any idea why I'm having issues with it breaking, I guess put it down in the comments because we don't know. We've we've tried. Uh, we put in grade eight bolts, and they just snap. Um, we take a look at it, and it's not like they wore down and snap. They just snap. So, um, but yeah, we will. Uh, 
If you have any questions that I can try and answer about this John Deere 250 skid steer, or if you have one at home and you have some issues that you want to ask, maybe that I have an answer for, drop it down in the comments because I just want to, I don't know, share. I don't see very many John Deere 250 skid steer videos. So if you have any questions, I mean, drop it down. Let me know. I will try and answer them. So this right here is cracked. Uh, I think it got caught on a limb or something. I don't even remember anymore. Got a piece that I need to screw back on and then we can try and get this. Probably gonna try and build like a, uh, some sort of plate to try and put on there to bring these back together. Uh, and then like self-tapping screw it or something just so we can get it looking looking better and so it's opening and closing correctly because right now uh, it hangs up all the time so we're going to try and figure that out i'm going to grab a piece of metal and see if i can span that really quick Glasses because you you need your eyes. Yeah, and always wear gloves too. Let's uh, see if that does what we needed to do. Got that fixed. Now it's not catching. It latches, so good deal. Let's put the door on. Well, that does it for this episode of Rural Iowa. Make sure and like and subscribe. This is an oil change of Palooza is what I'm calling it. We're gonna be changing the oil on the skid loader. Uh, I got my grasshopper, I have a Cub Cadet, and then I have a John Deere 2630 and uh, I'll be releasing videos as I change the oil on them. I'm uh, going to be moving on. And um, But yeah, hopefully some of that John Deere 250 was informative. I know there's not a whole lot of videos out on YouTube in regards to those. If you have any questions, I can try and help you. And uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Take care. Make sure and like and subscribe. And uh, well, there went Mabel. But again, thank you guys, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.